So one of the stars of this Murrumbina side is the captain, Mitch Walder. He joins me now. Mitch, how's the pre-season been, mate? Oh, it's been fantastic. The, the numbers have been good. The energy's been up, um, especially with the, the Colts team coming in this year, which has been fantastic for our club to really refresh the place. Um, and the women's team with the numbers have, have been up from the last two years, which is something that we, you know, to build upon, which is great. And then the, the, the men's list has been, uh, you know, trotting away as well, which is great. And we've, you know, picked up and retained. So that's what, all you want, really. Yeah, terrific. The whole place is a buzz. Everyone's up and about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, with some nice weather as well, it helps too. But um, look, it, it, I think all across the board, we've um, identified where we needed to, to, you know, plug some holes, even on and off the field, and it's starting to sort of see in the first few weeks of pre-season, so. Yeah, too right. Um, let's talk about you, a premature end to, to last year with a, with an elbow injury. How is it and how um, how was your recovery? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit unfortunate to end the season that way, but uh, I was uh, lucky enough to sort of recover quite quickly from it and then I was back at pre-Christmas training um, you know, not long after the season. So um, Osh, that's, that's all cherry ripe to go and um, just uh, ready to you know test it out round one. Great to hear. Body's feeling okay? Yeah, it's been great. Um, I've had a month off working in Tassie, so um, I've actually I was actually down there training with the Queenstown Crows on the gravel pitch down there, which has been uh, was it was interesting. But I think also the, the break um, from from here as well, just with being the captaincy role yeah. as well, it was a nice yeah. refreshment for me. And um, but it was really good fun to train with a new group of guys down there, and and they, they were great. They were absolutely awesome. Yeah, great to hear. Um, Gravel would have torn up your footwork. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's, it's an interesting surface. Uh, it was, it was got a little bit too, uh, uh, took a little time to get used to, but um, uh, it was, it was like I said, it was great fun and enjoyed it. Yeah, great to hear. And uh, you mentioned you're away on uh, on work. Yeah. Um, what you do is a little bit different to uh, most of the footballs in the Southern League. Um, what do you do? Um, uh, I work for myself as an illustrator, commercial graphic artist, and um, I paint big murals as well. So I sort of I'm in the creative realm, as you would say. Yeah. A bit different to most of the tradies that run around in the Southern League. It's, uh, it seems like a pretty interesting profession. Yeah, uh, it's a bit different to everyone else, but um, I think it's. I'm very lucky to, to do something that I enjoy immensely. So yeah, I'm really uh, you know, proud and happy to to have the the combination of art and footy. Yeah, it's a bit interesting. Yeah. Yeah, terrific. Um, and obviously things are up and about um, here this year. Um, looking forward to the season ahead, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think. It's definitely a redemption year for us, having such a good home and away season and bowing out the way we did. Um, there's no doubt that um, we're, we're going we're gonna to use that. Plus, we're going to use just the, the new year as, as a refreshment as well and, and um, you know, just uh, iron out any kinks and also just play to our strengths. So it should be good. Yeah, nice one. Um, I always love coming down here and I love seeing how you, uh, you integrate with the women's team. We see them uh, working hard there with the, with the boys. Yeah. Um, what does that do for the morale of the uh, men's team and the women's team? Because you obviously work for closely with it. Well, I mean, we've been uh, a, a small club for a long time, over 100 years now, so to have the introduction of the women's team um, is, is great for like a number of reasons, um, and it, well, for, for one, numbers at training, yep. um, but two, I think to have the involvement of the women's in, in, in the training for the majority of the sessions as well, yep. uh, it improves their skills out of sight, and which is, uh, you know, it's shown um, over the last two years, but I think also for us, it's really like it's a great way to um, integrate females into a football club, especially a local football club, and um, it's been great for us to have a welcoming spirit to that yep. as well. And I think, well, just conversely, it's really just um, brought the place up, um, having a nice uh, female input into the club too, which is which is fantastic. Very well said. Uh, you're a very accomplished media performer um, and a seasoned campaigner. I've noticed that you've. Uh, uh, chosen this time to come out and chat to me while everyone else is uh, doing sprints. Very clever on your part. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been around the caper for, for a bit, so I know when to do these interviews, and uh, yeah, I've picked a nice time, I think. A bit more subtle than uh, jumping on the rub down table, I yeah. think. Uh, yeah, that's it, yeah, you've got you to pick your time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's plenty of things I can learn from you, mate, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh, anyway, mate, not going to hold you up. Uh, get back into it, maybe do a little bit of running, take it easy, look after the elbow, looking forward to seeing you around one, mate. Uh, thanks, Will, much appreciated. Get your game face on.